Hi! Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I am creating my capsule wardrobe. I feel like it's so far away. Ah, but I have to set it up like this so that you can actually see more of what I'm wearing. So I have not completed building the capsule wardrobe. I'm just in the process of getting it done. Um, a couple of videos ago I was telling you that I was clearing out all the things that I don't absolutely love and now I'm taking it that next step further and actually cultivating a wardrobe that's functional, stylish and um, yeah, that, that just makes it easier for me to get ready because I know that these are things that I will absolutely wear and they match with a lot of other things in my wardrobe as well. So, my staples um, that I have got. So, as you know, uh, I, I do love thrifting, right? So, a lot of the clothes that I've got, pretty much all of them at this stage, are now from op shops. Um, so, this top that I'm wearing currently, uh, I've sort of been experimenting with holes. <laughs> I got it for like 20 cents in an op shop, it was like in a thing, it had a couple of little holes, so I decided to just exaggerate it a little bit. Um, I like the fit, it's kind of funky, uh, it just depends what I wear it with, and this is what the back looks, the fabric is very soft, um, yep, so this was 20 cents. My, uh, my next item that I use on a regular basis is a waterfall cardigan. Now this is great for me because I do travel a fair bit and so it's made of this beautiful drapey jersey material uh, and as you can see it just instantly adds a little bit of, I'm not sure what you call it, but it's a little bit of something, you know what I mean? A little bit of something, something. Um, I know some of you guys might not be a fan of this. Uh, <laughs> actually a friend of mine today said to me, do you realize there's holes in your shirt? I said, yes, honey, I realize there's holes in my shirt. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, yeah, so this is just a nice, very casual airport um, cardigan, comfortable, soft fabric. And the next one that I have is a little bit more heavy duty. Uh, this is also uh, got a little bit of a waterfall look to it, but it's a little bit more structured and it has a zip. So if I want to look a little bit more put together or a little bit less casual, this is one that I would go for. Right, so as you can see it's got that, it's it's got a little bit of a drapey element to it, but it can also definitely be zipped up. Um, and it's nice, it's nice and uh, nice and warm. And this, believe it or not, was actually free because I picked it up off the side of the road. And it is made of wool. Um, I also have quite a few basic t-shirts. So this is just a nice, comfortable, basic uh, t-shirt. I have a gray one, a black one, and a white one as well. And I use this just to layer um, layer things on top and in case you're wondering the bottoms that I've got on are actually some really good quality leggings again got from the op shop they were two dollars um, so yeah you can actually kind of wear them as pants you don't get that horrible see-through uh, effect you guys know what I mean nobody should be wearing see-through leggings that is not on um, I think there's only one thing that could possibly be worse than see-through leggings, and that's flesh-coloured leggings. People. Let's not... Why? Why? Um, the other day I actually saw a girl walking around in flesh-coloured leggings, and I was mortified, because um, she was walking with her friend, and I just wanted to just stop them and say, hey honey, that's not your friend, okay? Because friends don't let friends leave the house in flesh-coloured leggings. That is not something a friend does. Just putting it out there. Um, so this is something that I use to just layer. Um, I've got a few scarves uh, with some awesome prints on them, as you can see. Uh, they're quite versatile and um, 
just add add a little a little something different to the outfit. So there's this scarf. This is a different look again, and I would perhaps wear it with um, another. Okay, this is the third waterfall-ish or esque cardigan that I've got, and it's the last one. Um, and I feel like this one is just a tad bit dressier. All right, so. Yeah, and if if I so wish, this could actually be dressed up even more with a belt. Okay, so a nice little belt just to cinch it in. Um, turns it into a different look altogether. See, I'm sorry about the glare, you guys. Um, I've just I've picked a really really strange time to film today but it's the only time that I've got so um, this cardigan is particularly versatile it's got like a peplum sort of effect and this is what the back looks like I guess it's not peplum but it's it's just it's just very it's just very floating it just says hi you know like I'm, I'm just yeah I don't know what it says but I like it and I wear it a lot um, Another look, if I'm going for something a little bit more edgy, I would go with my black leather jacket. Okay, so I've got this awesome black leather jacket that currently doesn't fit all the way. Okay, sad story of my life at the moment. But, um, you know, it, it's, it is still quite comfortable. It does look a little bit tight, but it's still pretty comfortable. Alright, so the leather jacket is great. You can wear this with a nice fitted dress or um, quite a feminine dress if you want, like a feminine floaty dress because it's got uh, a little bit more of that tough biker look. It sort of balances things out. Okay, so.